Welcome to another episode of Explore the World, where I take you to some of the most beautiful and fascinating destinations around the world. In this episode, we are going to explore China, a country with a rich and diverse heritage and a land of wonders and contrasts. China is the world's most populous country and one of the oldest civilizations in history. It has a vast territory with diverse landscapes, climates, and cultures. From ancient monuments and temples to modern skyscrapers and cities, China has something for everyone. In this video, I will show you 16 of the best places to visit in China and why they are worth seeing. So sit back, relax, and join me on this amazing journey. Let's go. Number 16, The Forbidden City. The Forbidden City is the largest and most well-preserved imperial palace complex in the world. It was the home of 24 emperors from the Ming and Qing dynasties, and it contains thousands of rooms, halls, and courtyards. You can admire the exquisite architecture, art, and gardens, and learn about the fascinating stories of the people who lived here. The Forbidden City is located in the heart of Beijing, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 15, the Terracotta Army. The Terracotta Army is one of the most incredible archeological discoveries of all time. It consists of more than 8,000 life-sized clay soldiers, horses, and chariots buried with the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in the third century BC. The army was meant to protect the emperor in his afterlife, and each figure has a unique facial expression and pose. You can visit the site near Xi'an and marvel at the scale and detail of this ancient wonder. Number 14, the Yellow Mountains. The Yellow Mountains, or Huangshan, are a range of scenic peaks in eastern China, famous for their granite spires, pine trees, clouds, and hot springs. The mountains have inspired many poets and painters, and they are a popular destination for hiking and photography. You can take a cable car to the top or climb the steps along the cliffs and enjoy the breathtaking views of the landscape. The Yellow Mountains are also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 13, the Patala Palace. The Patala Palace is the former residence of the Dalai Lama, the spiritual leader of Tibetan Buddhism. It is a stunning example of Tibetan architecture perched on a hilltop in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet. The palace has 13 floors and over 1,000 rooms, and it contains many treasures, such as statues, murals, and relics. The Patala Palace is a sacred and symbolic place for Tibetans and a must-see for anyone interested in their culture and religion. Number 12, the Li River. The Li River is a picturesque river that flows through the karst landscape of Gilan in southern China. The river is famous for its winding course, green hills, bamboo groves, and fishing villages. You can take a cruise along the river or a bamboo raft and admire the scenery that has been depicted in many Chinese paintings and poems. The Li River is also home to the cormorant fishermen who use trained birds to catch fish in a traditional way. Number 11, the Giant Panda Base. The Giant Panda Base is a research and breeding center for the endangered giant pandas located in Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province. The base has more than 100 pandas and you can see them in their natural habitats eating bamboo, playing, and sleeping. You can also learn about the conservation efforts and the challenges that the pandas face in the wild. The Giant Panda Base is a great place to visit for animal lovers and families. Number 10, the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is the longest and most famous man-made structure in the world. It stretches for over 21,000 kilometers across mountains, deserts, and plains, and it was built over 2,000 years ago to defend China from invaders. The Great Wall is a symbol of China's history and culture and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
you can hike along different sections of the wall and enjoy the panoramic views of the surroundings. Number 9. The Bund The Bund is a waterfront promenade in Shanghai, the largest and most modern city in China. The Bund is lined with historical buildings that showcase different architectural styles, such as Gothic, Baroque, and Art Deco. The Bund is also a great place to see the contrast between the old and the new, as you can admire the skyline of the futuristic skyscrapers across the river. The Bund is especially beautiful at night when the buildings are lit up. Number 8. The Summer Palace the Summer Palace is a royal garden and palace located in the outskirts of Beijing. It was the summer retreat of the emperors and their families, and it covers an area of 300 hectares with lakes, hills, pavilions, bridges, and temples. The Summer Palace is a masterpiece of Chinese landscape design and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can stroll around the garden, take a boat ride on the lake, or visit the elegant halls and chambers. Number 7. The Zhangjiajie National Forest Park The Zhangjiajie National Forest Park is a natural wonderland in Hunan province, famous for its towering sandstone pillars that resemble giant pillars. The park is also home to lush forests, waterfalls, caves, and wildlife. The park was the inspiration for the movie Avatar, and you can see the resemblance in some of the formations. You can explore the park by walking on the trails, taking a cable car or a glass elevator, or even a glass bridge that spans across two cliffs. Number 6. The Victoria Harbor The Victoria Harbor is a natural harbor that separates Hong Kong Island from the mainland. The harbor is one of the busiest and most beautiful in the world, and it offers stunning views of the city's skyline. The harbor is also the venue for many events and festivals, such as the Symphony of Lights, a nightly laser and music show, and the Chinese New Year fireworks. You can experience the harbor by taking a ferry, a cruise, or a helicopter. Number 5. The Temple of Heaven The Temple of Heaven is a complex of religious buildings located in Beijing. It was the place where the emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties prayed for good harvests and divine blessings. The temple is a masterpiece of Chinese architecture with its circular and symmetrical design and its blue roofs. The temple is also a cultural and social center where you can see locals practicing Tai Chi, dancing, singing, and playing games. Number four. The Longji Rice Terraces The Longji Rice Terraces, or the Dragon's Backbone Rice Terraces, are a spectacular site of terraced fields that curve along the slopes of the mountains in Guangxi Province. The terraces were built over 600 years ago by the Zhuang and Yao ethnic minorities who still live in the area. The terraces change their colors with the seasons from green in spring to golden in autumn. You can hike along the terraces and visit the villages and experience their culture and customs. Number 3. The Yungang Grottoes The Yungang Grottoes are a collection of Buddhist cave temples located near the city of Datong in Shangxi province. The grottoes date back to the 5th and 6th centuries AD and they contain over 50,000 statues and carvings ranging from 4 centimeters to 17 meters in height. The grottoes are a showcase of the art and culture of the Northern Wei Dynasty and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 2. The Tianzi Mountain The Tianzi Mountain is a stunning natural attraction in the Zhangjiajie National Forest Park in Hunan Province. The mountain is named after a local hero who led a peasant uprising in the 12th century and it means the Son of Heaven. The mountain is famous for its peculiar peaks that rise above the clouds and create a surreal landscape. The mountain is also home to many rare plants and animals, such as the golden monkey and the Chinese dove tree.
Number 1. The Shanghai Tower The Shanghai Tower is the tallest building in China and the second tallest in the world, standing at 632 meters high. The tower is a marvel of engineering and design, with its twisted shape, its double-layered facade, and its high-speed elevators. The tower also has many functions such as offices, hotels, restaurants, and observation decks. The Shanghai Tower is a symbol of the modern and dynamic city of Shanghai and a must-see for anyone who loves skyscrapers. If you've enjoyed this captivating journey through China's wonders, don't miss out on our upcoming explorations. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more adventures, cultural insights, and awe-inspiring destinations. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, embracing diversity, and finding beauty in every corner of our world.